Apple just revealed its eagerly awaited iOS 18 update, which includes a big dollop of its own flavor of AI. At WWBC, Apple gave us a sneak peek at what's on tap for iOS. If you've been waiting for a way to schedule your messages or want to give your home screen a colorful makeover, you're in luck. So in this video, we are going to discuss iOS 18 is here. Top 10 features of iOS 18 will shock you. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Take more control of your iPhone's app icons. Don't think iOS 18 is all AI, though. There are a bunch of great features for the rest of us, including the fact that Apple's finally surrendering control over your home screen app icons and widgets. For starters, you'll be able to drag and drop the apps you love and need around your home screen to your preference and leave blank spaces on those screens. This also allows you to make sure the pets, people, and places you want to see on your home screen aren't covered by the likes of Mail, Spotify, and Safari. App icons will also become more customizable with new dark mode images and the ability to switch their views to whatever you prefer. Number 9. RCS finally comes to the iPhone. In other news that made the Android community declare took you long enough, the approved messaging interoperability of RCS is finally coming to the iPhone. Yes, iOS 18 will add rich communication services support, so iPhone users and Android users can exchange higher quality images and video, as well as audio files, with one another. Apple didn't explain this addition in great detail, but the image used to preview the functionality confirmed that messages shared with Android users will still be in green bubbles. Number 8. More tap back options. On Instagram, there's a wealth of emoji at your fingertips for reacting to memes and reels. Over on messages, you're restricted to a slim selection of reactions, known as tap backs. The heart, thumbs up or down, exclamation points, question mark, or laughter. You can drop emoji into a messages chat itself versus affixing them to a specific message, but that can clutter things up. With iOS 18, you'll be able to react with a much wider range of emoji and stickers. Number 7. Make your own apps a bit more private. Ever felt like you were taking a huge risk by simply handing your phone to someone else so they could see something? Well, Apple heard about your sense of dread, and it's letting you lock specific apps behind Face ID Unlock. Information from those apps won't even show up in your notifications, search, or Siri suggestions until you unlock it with your face. Number 6. Satellite Messaging on iPhone Apple introduced Emergency SOS with the iPhone 14, which connects people with emergency services using satellites when they're in remote areas without a cellular connection. As its name suggests, however, Emergency SOS is reserved for times when you need immediate assistance and is limited in functionality. With iOS 18, Apple extends its satellite phone service to the Messages app for when you're in a cellular dead zone. It's being pitched as helping you stay connected when you're without Wi-Fi or cellular. For those with an iPhone 14 and up, messages will prompt you to connect to a nearby satellite and your connection status will be displayed in the dynamic island. Number 5. The Photos app gets a huge redesign. The tab-based Photos app you know today goes away in iOS 18, replaced by a single view where you start with a grid of photos at the top that sits above collections that sort your images. That latter section groups by photos all taking place on specific days, such as today and yesterday, and then presents the people and pets section. You can then pin your favorites beneath that collection, wondering where all the moments and other highlights that the Photos app loves to show you went. Swipe horizontally on that big grid at the top of the screen to see your favorites and then featured photos. Number 4. Tap to Cash Apple Cash is Apple's version of mobile payment apps like Venmo and Zelle and allows for cash transfers between those with an iPhone, iPad, or Apple Watch. With iOS 18, the company is simplifying these transfers, just hold two compatible iPhones together to send money. If you're worried about someone standing close to you and draining your account, Apple says each phone owner will need to authenticate using Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode, and then hold their phones together to get paid. Number 3. Messages comes alive in iOS 18. 
Messaging with Android users is only one piece of the story when it comes to how iOS 18 will upgrade the Messages app. Apple's upgraded the tap back icons that my friends and family love to adorn messages with in two ways. First, the default set of tap backs get a glow up with color and shadowing, and you can also now use any emoji you want for a tap back. You'll also get new formatting options to make the text in your messages ripple, jitter, shake, and bloom, among other options. Number 2. Hide your embarrassing apps. Want to keep an app away from prying eyes? You could bury it in an unrelated or boring folder, but iOS 18 will do you one better and let you hide it in a private hidden folder that's only accessible via Face ID, Touch ID, or a passcode. You can already do this with photos, but now you can do the same with Tinder or even Google Docs if you have a particularly salacious diary entry you don't want falling into the wrong hands. When an app is locked, it also won't show up in search, notifications, and other places across the system, Apple says. Number 1. Custom Control Centers and App Organization On iOS 18, you'll be able to create multiple control centers that you can swipe through. Create one for just your smart home devices, for example. For Android users, this type of stuff is old hat, but Apple has held a tight grip on its tech for a long time. Part of that journey is allowing people to put their app icons wherever they want on the home screen in iOS 18. Put a row at the top and bottom or along the edge, and top it off with color tints, so the whole thing looks yellow or red. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon for more updates and notifications.